Greetings. <coughs> yeah, Metal Mickey was uh, making a video about 10 albums to kind of explain death metal, so I kind of thought of picking out various uh, genres of 90s death metal, you know, technical, more melodical, uh, doomier, faster stuff. Um, I haven't picked out the, the obvious uh, immolation, incantation, uh, cannibal corpse, death. Uh, those essential um, bands that, um, yeah, everybody knows them, and and you know, Morbid Angel as well. You know, they have kind of set the base for a lot of newer stuff. Uh, but there was a lot of other kind of offsprings from the um, from the uh, U.S. death metal back in the days, <clears throat> and. Um, Kind of doing a lot of a little, a little bit different twist on it. Um, yeah, hope you enjoy it. I mean, this is just for fun, isn't it? So in the background we are playing one of them, and this is um, the fourth dimension hypocrisy. This is more the kind of melodic stuff that's still you know heavy, brutal, uh, not brutal, but death metal. But they do have these melodic leads and. Um, kind of separates them from a lot of bands, you know, um, Swedish death metal was a lot, there was a lot of different, uh, different style, uh, kill, killer album by Hypocrisy, and Hypocrisy was one of those bands that, you know, I, I discovered with the first album, and I kind of evolved from the US style, they were very inspired by the, the you know, Florida scene in the beginning, but here is kind of the album where they found their own style and then created something new. Another Swedish uh, death metal band was important for me back in the day uh, was CMs uh, with Salt of Dice. Now for never light later as Salt of Dice was the second album. Uh, this is it's brutal. It's it's not Swedish sounding at all. It's just brutal death metal. You could say they are more inspired by a kind of in a way, suffocation and, and bands like that, but uh, a brutal album, but this is a killer classic and, and kind of, this was one of the most brutal albums that I had back in 92, if not the most brutal album, so this kind of uh, represented the brutal side of uh, death metal for me. And then we have the Doom, and the Death Doom side. Uh, I took My Dying Bride as the flower, uh, flower withers, uh, another kind of essential band when it comes to the early slow uh, death metal, um, and uh, yeah, just a killer album, and, and uh, to this day, uh, this came out in, uh, in 92 as well, and uh, just kind of show how variated the death metal scene uh, got, uh, you know, 92 was kind of the year where everything spread out, you know, 91, 92. Um, so, um, yeah, that, that's how I kind of based my video. Another band that kind of combined the brutality with the doomy stuff was uh, German's Flash Crawl. And I also tried to pick out several countries, so um, Flash Crawl with uh, Descending to the Absurd. Uh, this also had kind of some very death doomy elements but then they blast away uh, killer album for me and this kind of represents the German scene uh, I could have picked Atrocity um, and uh, Morgoth but uh, I'm sure they will pop up uh, in, in in other bands uh, but yeah I love this album as well it, it's uh, it's kind of mixing um, the different styles in a way then we have uh, you know the more grinding stuff uh, I had to go with this one uh, Utopia Banished uh, by uh, Napalm Death uh, yeah it's my favorite Napalm Death but album but that doesn't matter this is kind of uh, where they have mixed their their early stuff with the new stuff so uh, it's, it's a death metal with a lot of grind uh, drive in it so, so that's kind of another aspect with the death metal um, um, back in the days. And this is also 92 if I'm not mistaken. Maybe I just picked 92 albums. 
apart from uh, hypo hypocrisy was uh, 94. Uh, you know, another country that's important in, in Europe, at least for, for death metal, uh, is uh, Poland. And the Vader is uh, one of the most unique sounding band in the world. They have had this style since the early 90s and uh, still plays the same style. And, and there's no band sounds just like Vader. This fast, um, blasting um, death metal with a different voice and, uh, and um, uh, great guitar solos, like crazy guitar solos, you know, wicked drumming on it. Um, yeah, the ultimate incantations. Uh, it's a classic, uh, but it's also kind of a, a yeah a representative for the uh, Polish sound in a way. Finland. Uh, I was thinking about Demigod, Demilek, especially. Uh, Demilek is a very unique band. You had Sentenced, um, uh, kind of the second album, especially had, had a special song. But I went with the Doomier side with Unholy, uh, Second Ring of Power. This was '94, if I remember correctly. Uh, yeah, this is slow, weird, and twisted, um, uh, kind of death doom. Uh, Again, a unique sound. Uh, it doesn't sound like anybody else. Um, yeah, just a fantastic album, in my opinion. They do have some synths there, and they do have a, a track with female vocals on as well. So, uh, a little bit out of the ordinary. Another unique band for me, uh, at least back in the days, uh, was um, Septic Flesh from um, Greece with uh, Mystic Places of Dawn. This was kind of a little bit more atmospheric death metal, uh, still quite brutal, uh, but they do, do have this kind of synth, um, uh, a synth uh, that creates this more floating atmosphere in the background. Uh, they evolved that style to, you know, way, uh, way too much, but, uh, but uh, this album is a perfect uh, album uh, to showcase the septic flesh. I mean, the three first albums are very you know, unique and, and uh, special. They kind of slowly uh, incorporated more symphonic elements and um, and some female vocals uh, here and there. But um, yeah, Septic Flesh is, is another, for me, unique way. And, um, you know, from Greece. Um, then I'm going to Austria with, uh, this is more murky, brutal, and the vinyl uh, it's Miasma with um, changes. Uh, this is kind of a, a very dirty and brutal and, and like an unhinged um, album from 92. I mean, there wasn't many bands who were like this. Uh, you know, it's just heavy, brutal and, and kind of a little bit uncontrolled. Um, and, and twisted as well, so uh, I think this is a good representative for Austrian. Uh, I mean, there's not a lot of death metal from Austria, but uh, but there are some really cool bands. Uh, yeah, so um, Yasma. And the last one is I went for the technical one and progressive one. Um, it had to be this um, Atheist Unquestable Presence. Uh, you know, um, with the planets and everything. Yeah, this is just a fantastic display of, of you know technicality and um, kind of the progressive uh, way that a lot of bands took. Uh, again, this is um, was '91, I think this came out. Uh, but yeah, uh, another great representative of, of a different style of death metal. Um, but as I said, I could show them like 10 albums of the most kind of influential bands uh, to nowadays bands, but, but I don't think that was the purpose. And, and you know, Boltro and all those bands will be shown, or I've seen a couple of videos already. They have been shown, and, and uh, you know, uh, uh, if, 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 if you should pick like five, six essential bands for uh, for the death metal sound. You know, you had to have uh, Death, Morbid Angel, uh, Cannibal Corpse, Suffocation. 
emulation, incantation, bull thrower, and I mean those bands entombed, um, entombed dismember, you know, the Swedish uh, HM2. Uh, I didn't pull out any of those because there was only 10 to show, but uh, uh, I could done a list with just those to kind of set the different styles, but I wanted to go a little bit around that and um, hope that's fine by you, Mike. Um, just uh, cool to show some cool records and um, cool to see uh, other people show. I've seen a lot of different stuff being shown, so that's cool. Uh, thanks as always for watching and um, Looking forward to your comments on this video, uh, be short. Sure.